us. And uh, let's let's move forward. I'm very oh. curious. What are the three most valuable skills that you are using today that can whoever is watching us that can help them and me as well to get to this next level? Let's say I'm clear where I am. I know yeah. that I want to become a leader. I want to achieve whatever, but how to You, you mentioned consistency, but except consistency, how to stay, stick to the path that I am going to achieve the success. Hmm. So you're looking for the three skills. I think right. I call them HIS, high income skills. You know, in today's economy, because the world, if I say the world is changing, I lie. The world is not changing. The world has changed already. Right. So it's not that, okay, new world is coming. No, the new world has already come. The, the world, the only people are living in the old world. So three high income skills, bar none. Number one is your ability to speak powerfully in front of people. And I'm not talking about just talking, but speaking in a way that does three things, inspire, influence and impact. You got to do that, you know, these three things with your speaking. So first of all, bar none, your influence speaking skills, your, um, you know, your ability to influence people, whether that's in a sales situation, whether you are, um, you know, a father, mother, the, how you influence other people. Now, let me just pause for a second before I go to the next thing. Biara, when I say influence, many times people think influence means manipulation. Now, here is my definition of influence that I teach people inside our Speak Like a Fortune 500 Business Leader program. Influence, it's a mouthful, influence is the ability to help people decide what's best for them and having them believe that it was their idea. Influence is helping people decide what's best for them, but having them believe that it was their idea. Because that's when they think they made the decision when you actually really as a good leader influence them. So that's the first thing, your influential speaking ability doesn't matter. Like, you know, right these days, a lot of people are coming and saying, just speak on Zoom. It does, if you're a good speaker, you're going to speak good on Zoom, on phone and face to face doesn't matter. You know, public speaking is, this conversation is a public speaking. There is a public here. There are people watching. Everything is public speaking. That's skill number one. Skill number two is your ability to get things done by other people. Basically, your leadership skills. Because many times people are good managers. They're good employees. They're good entrepreneurs. They're good business people. And they say these things in, 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 in our, in Hindi, uh, in our country, we say, Chorde hum sab apne kar meaning just leave it. I'll just do it myself. That's not what a good leader does. A good leader knows how to, not just how to hit the goal all the time, but how to pass the ball so the goal happens regardless of who's actually hitting that goal in the in the football ground. So your leadership capability is so huge. And I think the third skill that anybody requires, no matter what where they are in their lives, is their ability to, you know, we spoke a little bit about consistency, but ability to, you know, create results for the organization or for the cause that they are leading. So often I see this Biata, this, this line people say, it's not my responsibility, right? It's not my responsibility. It's, right. it's not like you go to a hospital, where do I go? I don't know, you know, ask somebody else. It's not my responsibility. So I think taking their ownership, no matter where you are, um, I think that skill can take you to, to another level. I think at the end of the day, everybody needs the cake. Everybody wants the cake, C-A-K-E, cake. And I'm a, fan of acronyms. CAKE stands for conviction, action, knowledge, and enthusiasm. First of all, you need conviction every single day. Conviction about what you're saying. Action, your ability to move forward. You don't have to be the first person. You have to be the fast person, right? Google was the 19th search engine in the world, not the first one. Google was the 19th search engine in the world, right? So, right. you know, it, you don't have to always be the first. You have to be the best at you know, doing what you do. So, you know, conviction, action, you have to upgrade your knowledge. And I'm not talking about knowledge that you get from just watching videos and reading books, and that is fine in the digital world, but following one mentor, following one person for extended period of time. Biara, a lot of times I see this problem in people. They follow this mentor for two days, another coach for three days, another coach for two days. And they, they, it's like reading Bible for one day, reading Ramayana the next day, next day I'm reading Quran, next day I'm reading something from Buddhism. I'm going to feel inspired for the day, but I'm not going deep. So knowledge from one mentor and whoever that person is 
he or she choose them and then enthusiasm you are going to fail but bouncing back with leadership and getting things done i think these three skills you're speaking your leadership and your ability to get results for people without any excuses it's going to take you for, it's going to add an extra zero to your income and the for the champion.